Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Reading the Bible with Mrs. B. Happy Monday. It's the last week of school for us in Ontario, so I certainly hope you will enjoy your last week of school. And here we are in the Old Testament, and our story is about a shepherd boy named David. The Shepherd Boy When Samuel the prophet was a very old man, the Israelites said, we want to be like other people, and that means we must have a king. Number one, we shouldn't try to be or desire to be like anyone but Jesus. We should only be ourselves and strive to be exactly who God created us to be. So Samuel asked God what to do. And God said, give them a king. And so Samuel chose a big, good-looking fighting man named Saul. And Saul tried to be a good king, but he did so many things wrong that Samuel was sorely disappointed. And it's not like Saul made mistakes. He actually intentionally disobeyed God on multiple occasions. And so there was a last straw and so God had had enough of Saul's disobedient. So at last, God said to Samuel, Do not worry about Saul anymore. I have already chosen a new king for Israel for, from Jesse's family. So while Saul was still king, he, king of Israel, he was disobeying God. And when leaders disobey God, then it affects the people. And so God had to have him replaced. And so Samuel went to look for the new king at the home of Ruth's grandson, Jesse. There he found seven fine young men who were Jesse's sons. And the eldest was very tall and good looking, very similar to Saul, right? So Samuel thought this must be the new king. But then God spoke to him saying, no, Samuel, you are wrong. Men and women only see how a person looks on the outside, but God judges what is in your heart. So regardless of what you look like, the important thing to God is the condition of your heart. And that's why we teach students and children and adults as well to be kind and to stand up for what is right and for what is good according to God's word. Have you another child? Samuel asked Jesse. Yes, Jesse said, but he's only a boy out tending the sheep. Send for him, said Samuel, and Jesse did. When David came in, a simple shepherd boy with shining eyes, Saul looked at him and listened quietly for God's word. After a moment, he said, yes, this is the one. So not even David's family, his own dad thought that he was eligible to be the leader of Israel, but God had other things in mind because God sees the heart of the person and he sees the potential of the person as well. And out of all his brothers, he was the eighth boy and he was chosen by God to be the leader. And so you can be anything that God has called you to be. You only need to believe that he is with you and that you can do it and you work toward whatever it is God has called you to do. So thanks boys and girls for joining Mrs. B today and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.